What's up guys, Bill is back again. So on the past few years, I was super busy with my new career and I start up my own company and I was busy with my new team and everything is quite super busy. So right now, everything is on the track and I decided to update my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to unbox the machine that come from the auto. So as you can see, it's called Auto Laser Master 3, which is the upgrade version from the Laser Master 2. So without much talking, let's just do it now. It comes with a, a white foam and a user guide, a profile. Oh, I think it's gantry. Okay, let's just take out everything one by one now. Now for the first one, it's a um, laser wheel that connect to laser module. And for this one, it's a um, USB cable. For coming up, it's um, power adapters. And um, this one is um, cables for power adapters. And this one looks nice, um, XX. Um, safety glass to protect your eyes two bags and um, the circuit group cable and this one should be in the cable for the uh, rotaries laser modules and we got the belt here and the airflow regulators the final is slight way of YX so let's do everything what we got on here and uh, without much talking and let's start to assemble now Finally, I assembled this machine and I'm ready to go. And it took me around 45 minutes to assemble everything. Since I was misleading by the user guide, so if you are first time to use this machine or if you are even beginner in the laser engraving, I would highly recommend you 
who watched their official tutorial video from their YouTube channel. So I'll put a video link on the description. Okay, let's start to test the function of this machine. So now, in order to start a uh, play with the engraving machine, uh, you need to uh, cables that is provided by the motors and you just connect to the laptop and with the machine. And after that, we use the uh, um, engraving software like Lightburn or Laser GRBLs. So before we do that, and make sure you put something to protect your cables. Most of the time, I prefer to use um, Lightburn as my engraving software. It's quite too easy to learn. And if you are a beginner in Lightburn, I would highly recommend to you to learn some um, basic tutorial from the YouTube. And one more thing I have to mention is um, Lightburn will have uh, 30 days trials for free. So um, after 30 days, and if you still want to use Lightburn, and they will charge you 60 to 120 dollars per year, depending on the license you go for. The laser module comes with the Z head adjuster. The laser head can now be uh, adjusted to any height with one easy step. Next step, you can frame in the areas you will be engraving. Now it's time to test some engraving jobs. And the Master 3 boast is high speed. Um, that could be reached 20,000 mm per minute. It makes this machine become one of the fastest desktop diode engraver on the market today. Since this laser module has 10 watt output power, so that means you are able to do some cutting job on the wood or acrylic. And I believe this is one of the main reasons why people choose high output power on their laser modules. So in next minutes, I'm going to show some um, cutting jobs. everything what I engrave and cut on mass 3 and most of work out are pretty fantastic. I'm quite happy with that. Overall, this machine is super user friendly than other similar open frame models currently on sale. Compared to the mass 2, a significant upgrade of mass 3 is laser module. It engraves and cuts your material with 445 laser light and delivers up to 10 watt of power. It makes it better for engraving on tough materials like aluminum and other metals, as well as making for faster and deeper cuts on wood and acrylic nick. At the end, I would say Master 3 is a great choice for anyone who needs a laser engraver with sufficient power to cut multi-material if your budget is under 1000. But if your main demand is engraving, then Master 2 with a 5 watt output power will be enough for you, for sure. Besides, I have written a review article for Master 3. Feel free to check out on description. Alright, that's it for today. And if you like my video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.